Um, this video is how to get really defined curls and all I did was wash my hair and then you gotta watch the rest. So watch till the end and like, comment, subscribe, be part of the Star Crew and I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright? Alright, so step one, you want to get your shampoo of your choice. I'm using the Agave My Moisture Shampoo and... I forgot to mention that I deep condition my hair after with the Mayel Babasu and Mint and I just follow the instructions on deep conditioning. So now I'm just going to part my hair because I feel like this method works with your hair parted. Instead of me doing it how I normally, how I used to do it before, this way is way better than how I did it. So I'm just going to detangle with a wide tooth comb. You could check out my curly hair tutorial on other stuff I used for my hair back then. But now it's just, this is what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to part my hair into four sections to get it like this. So if you have thicker hair, you kind of want to part it a little bit more. So you get those really defined curls. Mm -hmm. That's what we all here for. Yeah, you could tell that, that this scrunchie was not going to work for that. It just wasn't going to work for that. So I just put it in the back. I don't have those hair clips, those fancy clip things. I don't got that. So I just put in a scrunchie. Now I'm going to just work on the front. This is a old blow dryer that I had for years. It came with a diffuser, which I never use until I used it a few times until now. And I'm using the Paraxi Nectar Leave-In Tonic by Carol's Daughter. And this is also a heat protectant. And I'll be using the Black Vanilla Hair Smoothie. And I really like this as well by Carol's Daughter. Yep, just ignore the pomade on my face. And I'm also using Camille Rose curly smoothie oh, curl maker I can't even wait I'm using the Camille Rose curl maker so I'm only gonna use a little bit for this because if you use a lot it's gonna leave like product buildup and I don't want that so now for me diffusing my hair I'm just trying to wing it and do it how I thought it should be done <laughs> so here I am diffusing my hair attempting to diffuse my hair and I'm wondering am I doing this right <laughs> yeah my face my face my face says it all it's not even that hot though I don't know why we making so much faces but it's me on a regular deck like making faces but yeah, I'm just going to diffuse until I feel like my roots are dry because in New York, it is cold. So you can't just wash and go. You're going to get sick. So that's why. But now I feel so much better than I did last couple two weeks. Oh boy. So now I'm just diffusing the ends and I'm trying not to... Not to crunch it up too much, but but still try to get that definition. I feel like the first section was like a tester, and then the rest of it is like, okay, now I got the hang of it. So you could tell the difference a little bit. So we're just going to make everything wet, we're going to make it dry. So I'm using the Peroxy Nectar again. 
spraying it. So you guys could do with me. If you got your tools, do this video with me. Take your hair smoothie. And then I'm just going to be adding that, my black vanilla. And then a little bit of the curl maker because if you use a lot, it's gonna make your hair feel like sticky or like weird and you're gonna have to wash it again. So that's why I only use a little bit. And the curls actually came out really soft because if you use a lot and it hardens, it kind of is like crunchy. And I don't like crunchy curls. It probably depends. If you like crunchy curls, then this is definitely for you. Add as much as you want, but the product builds up and then you go ahead and wash it again, which is why I don't use that much. Y'all get what I mean. So now I'm just trying to diffuse the back. So I'm diffusing the roots, the back, I'm making sure I get everything. And then when I reach the ends, I kind of want to stretch out my curls a little bit because it's scrunching up. So now I'm doing the last two sections. And yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to get those voluminous curls. So keep watching to see how I get those voluminous curls. Ooh. And if you watch till the end, comment, comment down a star, a star emoji. If you watch this video till the end. So you can immediately tell the difference. I'm just going to diffuse away. And the purpose of the diffuser is to leave less heat in your hair and really give you those defined curls. But I feel like the Diva Curl might be better for this. I really want to try it, but I don't have it, so I'm just using what I have. This is a Remington blow dryer. This is dumb old. Like, I had this a long, long time ago. I'm pretty sure there's a lot better ones out there. So I'm getting all in those roots. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing no makeup in this video because since I was sick, I didn't put no makeup on at all. So this is just my face. And I'm spraying the front. Again with the peroxy nectar. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the curl maker. And I scrunch it so I really get those some curls that I want. So now I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm using a pick. Use any pick. I'm using a purple pick. I do this to fluff up my curls. I guess depending on the size of the pick, it can make it like more voluminous or less voluminous or something like that. I guess that was the actual purpose of it, but I just used any pick. But I feel like the purple one is good. But the more my hair is dry, the fluffier it gets. So you can tell the difference between 
just product and then diffusing and then picking out your hair to create that volume. So I'm just gonna keep diffusing, diffusing, and then stretching out the curls at the end because I want me to still have some length because I feel like when I do this, it takes away my length. So now I'm gonna add shine with the Cantu Super Shine Silk. And I use a little bit of this, just a little bit, like not even, like a blob you put on your finger, like that small. And then I'm just gonna pick out my hair and then I'm going to hide my, my part since I did such a wide part. And yeah, this is my hair so far. I'm using the Twisted Sister and a little too brush. I'm doing my quick, this is my quick, when I'm ready to go, baby hair. So don't judge my baby hair. They're usually on point, but my hair hides my face anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. And I took a little bit more Twisted Sister, and I'm just going to add that because I felt like I diffused it a little too much in some areas. So I'm just going to make those curls really voluminous and show again. And put some at the ends, and that's it. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe if you like this. Share this with a friend who's trying to get some curls, some defined curls, some super defined curls today. Okay, so A, and remember to say all day. A, my voice is sort of coming back. I don't know. <laughs> I try. All right.